Hello, and welcome to this demo of Luganto, which is a tool that makes it easier to set up and maintain your course materials in the learning management system. Have you ever had to dig into the various modules of your learning management system to reshare a resource you'd previously shared with your class? Have you ever had a student tell you they didn't complete an assignment because they couldn't find it or didn't realize it was due? Have you ever wanted to throw your computer out the window because organizing your course in the learning management system was difficult and simply took too much time? Or have you ever wondered how or if students are engaging with the resources you've shared with them? Have you ever wished that you could have everything ready for the next semester in just a few simple steps? If you're anything like the faculty that I've been talking with, the answer is yes to all of these questions. We continuously hear that faculty wish there was an easier way to locate resources, organize their courses, communicate student expectations, understand student engagement, and streamline the semester prep each academic year. Leganto is a course materials tool that is designed to make it very easy for you to gather together the list of materials that you want to share with your students, organize them in a way that makes sense to students, add your own additional comments about these resources, and also understand how students engage with the resources in your course. It won't take away all your tedious tasks, but it can really save you time in setting up and maintaining your course materials in the LMS and provide a great learning experience for students. Let's take a look. Leganto is integrated into the learning management system. I'm using Canvas today, but Leganto works with Blackboard, Moodle, D2L, or any other learning management system. I'm logged in as a student right now. Students can simply click on a link inside the course to view and access all of their course materials. This is Leganto, where students can see all of the resources they need to read, watch, listen to, or otherwise engage with as part of the course. Students can see everything in a single place, so they don't need to dig through the course to find the resource they need to review next or the one they may have missed. The number one goal from the student perspective is that students can access the materials that you've shared with them, and Leganto makes that very easy. This top one is available through the library, and I can click on the View Online link to access the resource directly from here. The second one on the list is a PDF of a chapter, but I can also see that the full book is available physically within my library. Links and library inventory can be added automatically, which means students won't need to worry about broken links in the way that they may today. However, if there's ever a problem with a link, a student can easily mark a link as broken directly from here. The library is sitting behind the scenes to help provide these resources to students, and they'll get a message letting them know that there's a broken link. There's nothing you need to do as the instructor. Course materials can also include non-library resources. The third one on the list is a YouTube video, and in this case, I can watch it from here, or I could click on the View Online link to watch it on the YouTube website. We can see that this list also has additional information to help guide students through the course materials. For example, this list is divided into sections to help organize the course content. You can also add tags, such as the essential or recommended tags. Tags are a great way for students to easily scan the list and see which ones are required resources and which ones are optional. You can also use notes to give students additional context, for example, to highlight why the class is doing a particular reading or anything else you want students to know. This can really help students feel confident that the resources will be worthwhile and that they're consuming the right content to succeed in the course. Leganto is more than just a static list of resources like the student might find in their syllabus or in the LMS. Students can search or filter this list. They can mark things that they've finished. They can save resources to use outside the course, and they can even comment directly on the assigned materials. Let's take a look. This article has a class discussion on it, including some comments or questions from the instructor and replies and other discussion from the students in the course. This is a great way to get your students thinking more deeply about their course readings and provide a means for them to ask questions and share their thoughts with you and with their peers. 
In general, Legato not only makes it very easy for your students to find and access their course materials from a single place within the learning management system, it also does that in a way that's very engaging for students, providing ways for them to interact with the resources and helping them succeed in their courses. Now let's look at the instructor experience so you can see how easy this is to set up and maintain. Today, when you find a new resource that you want to share with your students, what do you need to do? You probably bookmark it, then you need to log into the LMS, find the right section in your course, open it up for editing, type in the details of the item, paste in the link, and then check to make sure everything worked okay. And if it's a library link, that process can be even more complicated because you can't always just copy and paste the URL from your browser. I want to show you what this process looks like with Leganto. Let's say that I'm online doing some research and I find some resources that I want to share with my students. I don't need to do any of those things that I just mentioned, and I don't even need to be in the learning management system at all. Instead, we have a tool that we call the Cite It tool, which will quickly pull in any web-based resource into your course. I can simply click on the button and very easily add this to my list of course materials. Leganto will also link these resources up with the library collection. This means that your students will be able to easily access all of the resources that the library already pays for. This is millions of resources which are free and available to your students. This includes research databases, journals, books, videos, and more. You don't need to search the library collection separately to see if your library has something. Leganto will do that for you. I'm going to add this book from Amazon to my list and you can see that Leganto has identified that my library has access to this book, so I know that my students will be able to access this resource for my course. Let's go back to my course and see what this looks like. I'm going to go into my Introduction to Philosophy course, and just like a student, click on the Course Materials link. Here we can see the two resources that I just added using the Cite It tool. The second one is the one that I added from Amazon. But when I click here, it takes us to the full resource through the library collection. Links to library resources will be added and updated automatically, so you won't have to worry about these links breaking in the middle of the semester, which of course just results in more tedious work for you. If you already have a specific resource that you know you want to add, you can also search for it from here. I'm going to paste in the information about the article I'm looking for and search the library. I'll add this to my course. You can even upload files. If I have a file on my desktop that I want to share with my students, I can add that to my list as well. Leganto's automatically pulled information about the resource from the file, so my students will have more information about what I'm assigning to them without me having to type it in. And of course, you're never stuck with this list. It's a flexible tool and it can be changed at any point. If I want to move things around, remove them, move them to a different section, or change what's required and what's optional, I can easily work with this list and any changes will immediately display to my students. I can even copy or move items or sections to a different course if I want to. This list can also exist outside my course. We've started in Canvas, which is, of course, a good place to start, but you can also use this information in different ways. I can share a link with my colleague or a student who's not in my class. I can invite a colleague to work on this list with me, and I can even export the list and use it in my CV or my syllabus. You can see how Leganto makes the process of organizing your course materials much easier for you. And if you're wondering if your students are actually doing the assigned readings, you can check the analytics at any point to see their activity on the list. Here we can see the number of unique students who accessed each of the items on my list, including how many marked it as done, and even how many times a book was checked out from the library during my course. You can filter to see specific sections or specific items, and you can export the information if you'd like to analyze it further. And finally, there's an easy rollover process. So when it's time to teach this course again, I can just copy it, make any changes that I need to make, and I'm ready to go. 
As you can see, Leganto is easy to learn and easy to use, and the amount of time it takes to add resources to your course or maintain them over time is significantly less than in the learning management system alone. Leganto also provides a great experience for your students, and it allows the library to sit behind the scenes to help with things like broken links and access to resources. If this is something that you'd be interested in using in your courses, please reach out to your library to let them know that you'd like to start using Luganto in your courses.